Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, your weekly horoscope Aries. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below how they do and which cards do because do for you because that's how I keep up with y'all so the comments Aries. As well, be sure if you do enjoy this tarot reading Aries or you just enjoy my vibe darling, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot Aries. No reason super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Now, remember to use your intuition, Aries, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the cards are just here to give you uh, some food for thought as you go throughout your week, uh, a perspective to consider today, Aries, but never making the choice in your life, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these cards. So let's see what card wanted to come out for you, Aries, for where your general energy is at. Where are you? What What is your path looking like this week, darling? So we have the Six of Air, the Six of Swords. So Aries, you guys are in the process of moving on from a situation. Now I know from last week's uh, reading, Aries, you guys have been in your head a little bit. And so with the Six of Air, this doesn't come to a surprise to me. But you know, a little interruption as well i am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting 10,000. so if you would like to enter the giveaway i'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh own their own personal reading whether it's live or recorded so all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading darling uh seeing this card because let me just read it off i don't think i ever did for you aries this card it says things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip so for some of you Aries I do feel like this is a time for you to uh I can't help but feel like some a lot of you Aries have released something recently and I get this like really strong urge to just like push my Aries in whatever way this looks like to them right to take a moment to like after this purge that you've been going through to take a moment to uh um either like celebrate this aries or even just to have a moment to where you disconnect from your current environment of where you have been releasing a lot because i do feel like it's important for you aries i just keep on hearing about your environment and being shown stuff about your environment aries so i can't help but feel like it's important for you guys to disconnect and not always keep yourself immersed in the same energies <clears throat> excuse me, that you have been in for a while now, Aries. Um, so let's get some clarifiers, though. The cards have already started flying out, darling, so we can already know this is going to be a juicy reading. So we have the Six of Cups coming forward here, as well as the Six of Wands. I just want to just tell you as well, we have 666 so far, darling, um, for you, Aries, to write down the number six for your numerology this week, because six is coming out <laughs> very strong this week for you all all three cards that tried it like this came out on their own without me having to pull out areas um all of them are six so definitely look into the number six for this week and see how six would be a representation for your life this week we have the page of wands coming in here i like this energy so far aries and then we have the moon card coming in here so while you guys are in this energy of moving on uh, you're getting some type of victory from the home front. Six of Wands with the Six of Cups is coming to me in this sense of where perhaps maybe this is even responsible. It is for things starting to work out in your favor, things coming, like things looking up for you. Aries is, you know, perhaps with the Six of Cups, this can be one of two ways. This could be in a situation, Aries, of where um, you're almost addressing some type of past uh issue past situation because the six of cups does represent like energies from the past right uh or something that you have a long-standing history with um i do get this sense here like there's some type of healing coming in i feel like in this sense because of the six of swords and the six of wands 
uh, it's healing, I guess, from your perspective, Aries, in the sense that things are working out nicely in your favor. Now, I don't know if you guys are releasing something from your past, you're healing some past, like, traumatic thing, right? Because I do have to keep in mind consistently, Aries, about, like, how I feel like it's important for you, Aries, this week to make it a point to just get out of your house, disconnect from your environment, just even if it's for, like, an hour, <laughs> you know? I feel like it's just important for you to just not remain in the same energy for too long uh and so yeah with this though it also talks about an offer being given to you the six of cups um so when you pair this with the six of wands this is the card of uh public spotlight areas this is the card of just overall victory so you know maybe this is how things are starting being attached to the six of swords the six of air for you areas in the sense that um in the sense that things are uh just starting to look up some type of offer starts unlocking something for you to have like a new start now i do feel like this is not something that you're going to really be anticipating i feel like you, you, you mm, how I, how would i want to put this series this is almost like a uh, situation where Maybe you have like a general gist of things, Aries. Maybe perhaps you've consistently been putting out your work, right? Putting out your writings, for example. Um, putting out some type of content. Putting yourself out there, darling. Um, and so you've been putting energy into this. Uh, but you weren't quite sure where like the next step is going to be. Like how your next chapter begins, right? And I feel like it begins by some type of, you know, with that Six of Cups coming in, some type of whether it's healing from an old situation, darling, or whether it's you just simply receiving some type of offer that really like gives you the chance to change your life in a drastic way. You know, for a lot of you Aries, I want to also just feel inclined to say perhaps this is just like a um, idea coming to you as well this week of where it's just like, ooh, I could really put energy into this. But I feel like it's a new project, right? I've been holding up these cards, but I haven't been saying them, Aries, right? The Page of Wands and the Moon card. The Page of Wands is the card of, um, I personally say it's like the starting into like a new passion of some sort, a uh, new beginning, I like to say personally, because pages represents new energy, right? Um, and the moon card represents to me something where it's, where uh, this is why I say I don't feel like it's going to be something that you quite anticipate, Aries. This is going to be something that catches you off guard. So while perhaps, yes, you've been putting out your writings, you weren't quite sure how like your writings were going to get seen, perhaps, right? Because again, we cannot neglect the six of uh, wands energy and so i do kind of get this sense here aries if you've been investing for a long time as well um and how i would take these cards four cards just with themselves if you've been investing in some type of energy that you have a long standing history with like you know you've been putting out your writings you've been putting out your content for a long time right i do feel like you're gonna end up being seen someone's gonna end up like scouting you right in some type of way that gives you an offer that gives you the opportunity to really do something aries um i really do feel like there's this just overall this week you have the opportunity to really put the pedal to the metal in your life and to really push forward into a new energy whether this is something being offered to you or whether this is just like you know because i feel like a lot of aries might be thinking about this in the sense of like some person actually giving like an offer for you to do something aries i feel like you know we can't i mean i am a spiritual person darling so i don't want to neglect the uh ideas and the messages that come through from spirit and i know for some of you aries you're gonna roll your eyes at me and be like Ugh, okay welcome but i do get this strong sense that like regardless of how it comes to forward aries there's going to be some type of opportunity for you to start sinking energy into a new idea into a new passion that i feel like would be actually really that that will really help elevate you forward in your life so darling uh you may just see me like make a face it's because this deck i was about to be shuffling again had a card just slip between my thighs darling Ugh. <laughs> so king of swords is coming out for you that wanted to really try to escape into my thighs darling so this king of swords coming in here this is confirming to me pay attention to your thoughts aries you definitely have like a business mind this week there's definitely you have some good ideas so don't neglect them don't uh don't just like push it to the side really figure out how you can start putting energy into whatever ideas you're having this week because i do feel like spirit's trying to relay some type of message to you guys or some type of idea 
or you know whatever way that looks like in spirit trying to set you up and further into your path whether that's through an idea through your intuition through you even dabbling through a youtube video and you're just like it just gives you a grand idea and be like oh i could do this type of series right oh i could do this type of writing or whatever whatever your storyline is whatever your prerogative is Aries. so let's go a little bit deeper with this though aries let's see uh how this week is gonna continue on for you we have the world card coming in here so cycles dialing let's see if this is a good way though the ace of wands okay we have the temperance card coming in as well as well as the nine of cups uh stepping forward all right aries so for you guys I can't help but feel like you guys are almost being impatient with something in the sense that there's almost like you guys want to cut or like call it quits on something um, without giving it a thorough chance, right? And I know for you Aries, uh, for a few weeks ago, I was saying like you're so close to digging your diamonds and I used the analogy of like two different miners who were one who was mining and uh was so close to hitting their diamonds right because we could see it from like a graph view so someone's just like just a few inches away from digging into their diamonds hitting the jackpot because they've been digging for so long but then they call it quits and then there's an image right under it where it's that another perp miner and they actually mine through and they actually hit their pot of gold because they didn't quit so i feel like in this sense areas you guys are really wanting to call quits down this path because again take note i said i don't feel like you guys are really going to be anticipating some type of thing being revealed to you this week that really helps you elevate forward or at the very least inspires you to push forward into your path so um I, yeah it does feel like some of you guys are wanting to call it quits and just cutting some type of cycle out in your life something that you've been feeding energy into uh with this temperance card and this nine of cups here in the reverse this is showing to me the sense of where you need to have that patience aries even if it's during the times where you're not getting that instant gratifica uh, gratification gratification aries you know even if you're not getting that immediate dop uh, dopamine hit darling on whatever uh situation we're looking at for you doesn't mean you need to call it quits i might even to be honest aries repeat your titling from the time before where it's just like you're so close to hitting your diamonds um because it's just like i feel like it's very much so referenced like some of you aries are starting to wane in your passion or starting to lose hope and just i really like truly aries a lot of you guys have i keep on just seeing like so, like i'm being shown like an aries like candle and it's just like been like such an ongoing battle for you guys to keep your candle fully lit i keep on seeing like your candle your spark your flame really getting so close to going out but then uh something coming forward to you and really reigniting you right so keep pushing through that's all something i want to just be saying here is keep pushing through with this do not lose faith do not call it quits just yet you are so close to digging your up your diamonds darling so we have the hermit card in the inverted for you again so this is complementing beautifully your energy of the six of cups and the six of wands because it's overlapping it pairing with the world card in the ace of wands aries so again this sense of where you're breaking out of your energy you're definitely going to be starting to get noticed aries for sure uh the emperor card and because of this you being noticed right you start feeling a lot more like you, aries this is one of those situations where it's like once you push through and accomplish it you're going to like so instantly be like oh man i'm glad i didn't quit right just naturally when you dig and find your diamonds you can be like oh, i was so close to quitting just like five minutes ago i feel like that's going to be like the energy you start experiencing right do not allow the the frustrations that you're having because you're not getting that instant dopamine hit that instant gratification do not allow that to deter you the king of pentacles in the reverse for you this is yeah majorly your insecurity because this is on top of your nine of cups inverted as well as your temperance card while still complementing the page of wands and the moon card so this is all encompassing uh aries almost like i want to say whatever that stability looks like for you i feel like you're going to feel a lot more in control of your stability and more how would i want to put this aries 
It feels like certain things just feel out of your hands, out of your grasp at this point where you feel as if no matter how much energy you sink into this situation is just not working out. I feel like your things are going to start shifting and really you are going to feel a lot more in control of your life and your home life and just your overall stability uh, really soon, Aries. We have the Five of Swords coming in here complemented with the queen of wands in the reverse so this is all engaged with the situation of where you're taking the high road uh with a situation that keeps on like weakening your flame that keeps on um how would we put this series i do feel like there's something that you haven't some type of wound that you've been neglecting to heal that's been consistently giving you this queen of wands in the reverse where you're just like your passion is waning where you start really internalizing things so much right so with this five of swords here i feel like yeah there's something that you've been neglecting in your life that you haven't been either wanting to address you haven't been wanting to call the elephant out in the room you haven't just been wanting to even tend to your own wounds right maybe you've just been running on fumes for a very long time areas and you just haven't had that moment of healing to really just exist you know going back to at the very beginning of this reading aries i did talk about going on a trip right your card even said going on a trip disconnecting from your environment i feel like you needing to disconnect from your environment is going to be directly Direct correlation with you tending to these wounds because some of them may be self-inflicted wounds right some of this this may be just like past trauma that you haven't been dealing with right maybe for some of you guys because this is such an emphasis on you finally being seen aries maybe some of you guys have been needing to take a moment and like look at why your insecurities and where they stemmed from in the first place or why you wanted to be like a wallflower or you haven't been wanted to be seen for a long time now because of like these wounds that have just not been addressed not been healed not been tended to you by you where like these wounds came in from past events or what have you and they just have stuck with you but you feel as if because you ignore it and don't address it then it's not gonna be a problem those wounds are festering darling those wounds are festering clear your swords yes this is all in the name of healing there is some type of wound that you guys need to heal this week week it is some type of wound that i feel like has been there for a long time that's now just starting to fester and once you take care of that wound that's when things start looking up for you beautifully Aries, uh, <laughs> powerful message darling i hope i didn't step on too many toes but um that message really needed to come forward <laughs> So uh, now, Aries, let's get into uh, your romantic life this week, your romantic and social life, I want to clarify, because we have more than just romance in our life. We have family, friends, all those platonic relationships, work life as well. Let's see what's going on there, darling. My cat is looking like she's about to be up to some business that she shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Y'all hear that meow? She's annoyed that I'm watching her. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on for you, Aries, for your social life. Two of Fire, Two of Wands with the Life Experience card, Archangel Chemwell. So these two cards say, the Life Experience card says, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. And then we have the Two of Wands. You've come into your own, new partnerships or contracts and continue moving forward. So let's get into this a little bit deeper. Aries, because this is an interesting energy because the life experience card, I'm pretty sure it's the tower card. Um, mm, it's either the death card or the, I think it's the death card actually. No, it's not the death card, it's the tower card. Darling, I swear I know my deck. <laughs> Y'all are just my first reading Aries of the day, so unrusting a little bit. So it is the tower card, especially, yeah, because you see the little literal tower in the back, darling. So definitely this could be in this sense, uh, Aries, for you guys, especially because of this new partnership, something, again, because the tower card represents, like, sudden, right? So I really want to look into this a little bit more and what this looks like for you guys this week, Aries. Knight of Pentacles coming in here. Okay. So this is definitely uh, energy that's been in the works for a while the hierophant in the reverse but there has been like this neglect i feel for you taking this seriously someone taking this connection seriously and then the king of pentacles coming in in the upright so this is all in the name of stability um i would even be as bold to say uh aries this is speaking in terms of like relationships or marriages 
um, or something in terms of the work life because of all these pentacles and the hierophant representing that higher commitment. So it's almost in this sense, there's some type of energy. I'm going to say who, right, darling? Y'all know your situation more. Someone wasn't taking this connection that seriously or they weren't thinking this in long term of like entertaining the idea of like, what does this look like X amount of years from now, right? And I do see this now, something happening in this situation here where they start, like someone starts taking this connection more seriously and starts building up something uh, more stable in regards to the dynamic between you two or however many people are involved in your situation this week, Aries. I do definitely see like, it's like the, you're, the troops are rallying in very much so it feels. It feels like, for you, Aries, like, the people around you, maybe, like, y'all haven't had, like, your serious face, your poker face, when it's just like, all right, let's, let's get to business, right? Trying to do whatever in your life. And so now it just feels like some type of relationship in your life this week, Aries, is now going to this level of being like, all right, jokes aside, let's take this serious now. Let's continue moving forward. Let's really start building, like, something for generations to come sort of thing. So, very good cards, Aries. Now let's see what's going on in your financial and wealth situation in specific. Let's see if this is my suspicions were right in terms of your social and uh, work life and money kind of are coinciding. We have the wheel card. Uh, not the wheel card, darling. The world card. All the same Archangel Michael. The wheel, the world, both are Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael keeps on always, like, that's something I've noticed, Aries. Have y'all noticed it as well? Archangel Michael has consistently been in y'all's readings for months, darling. Uh, this card says, uh, great job. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So you're being celebrated in your work life. It's still continuing on in the same positive message. But let's see, let's go into this a little bit uh, deeper. So, uh, definitely this is a uh, big, uh, what would I say, like a potentially really powerful week for some of you Aries in terms of your financial. Depending on the actions that you take this week and how you handle things, definitely could be a huge, very impactful financial week for you guys. Death card in the reverse coming in here. So this is definitely um, picking back up on something that maybe has been tapering off for a while. Maybe for some of you Aries, you guys have been in this period of like dealing, because I know last week I was talking, I was kind of chastising some of you uh, Aries on having a little bit of a money block. And I feel like this money block is finally being lifted because it's under this world card so this is where you know queen of cups coming in here this is finally being shifted for you because of emotional things aries y'all weren't good emotionally and maybe some of y'all receiving this reading darling still aren't and quite entirely but you guys are in this process which is why i really want to emphasize again aries to really go back into your general portion um to see like because i feel like you guys need to just take like I feel like you guys just need to get do like a getaway, right? Disconnect from old energies, or I don't want to say old energies, but disconnect from your current environment so you can finally, like, you know, you've been doing all this self work, have like a chance to really be outside of that current. I don't know. Y'all get the point, Aries. And then the magician card coming in here, and the lover's card wanting to pop out as well. Uh, powerful, powerful, powerful week, as I was saying. All these major arcanas for you guys in your work life, Aries. Um, definitely look at your Queen of Cups in the reverse. Are you in this Queen of Cups state still inverted, where you still need to tend to those wounds, darling, those emotional wounds? Um, and I do feel like, you know, th with this lover's card, and keep in mind, Aries, I did also say, like, er earlier, and I never usually... Uh, emphasize this but I do feel like some of you guys I was really tapping into into like a committed relationship of some sort and so maybe for some of you Aries you guys need to go on like a group trip go on a group retreat right and I'll be healing because I do feel like this is like <sighs> especially with that like you know, I started at the beginning of your reading, Aries, where it's like, oh, that page of wands, fresh start, new energy. It feels like it's more so as we went deeper with this, like you're breathing new life into a situation that was at one point not being taken seriously. As everything came together, that's how it's looking. So maybe do like a group getaway or something, Aries. 
um, if it is involving more than just one energy. But darling, that is the reading that I have for you this week, Aries. I hope this weekly horoscope was helpful to you today. If you found these cards helpful, if you found this tarot reading helpful, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you would like to book a reading with me, Aries, I have all my information down below uh, to my website. My social medias are all simply Valka. And I also am doing a giveaway, darling. Uh, so I'll leave all the information to that down below. So I love you so much, Aries. Bye.